Hello, welcome to introduction to database and SQL. In this session, we are going to discuss about metadata using JDBC. We have two interfaces to deal with metadata. One is database metadata and the result set metadata. Let's understand this. So to deal with metadata using JDBC, there are two important interfaces. One is database metadata and result set metadata. Firstly, what is metadata? Metadata is data about the data. The data that defines the data is called metadata. For example, if you see the database metadata, we will actually get the details of the database. So you know the database has some name, database has uh, certain tables, views, procedures, functions created, right? But database also will have certain metadata like what is the um, what is the database product name? What is its version? How many tables are there? Okay, so like that. And in the same fashion, we have a result set. You know, result set uh, is something whenever we query uh, using select. Okay, so along with the records, uh, based on the query we are making, we will have certain metadata information also. That means how many columns are there in the result set? What are the column names? What are the column types? Okay, so like that, we will get some data about the data. So that's called the metadata. So uh, these two are very, very important uh, interfaces to deal with the metadata. And database metadata de deals about the database related details and result set metadata deals with the query results. So if you see the database metadata here, database metadata provides information about the database itself, such as its capabilities, supported features and structural details. It also allows us to retrieve information about the tables which we created, what are the columns which are there in the tables, what are the indices which have created, what are views, etc. and etc. And result set metadata provides information about columns of a result set object. Based on the query, we will get some result set. And on top of the result set object, we can actually apply this result set uh, metadata methods and we can get the column names, the column types, and count of the columns, etc. Right? So, now let's actually see, uh, use these two interfaces and the corresponding methods of uh, these interfaces with an example. So let's go ahead with uh, NetBeans. So I'm opening my NetBeans and here I have a program also written already. So these first lines are for establishing the connection. We know this already. Okay, so loading drivers, setting up username, password, URL, etc. Okay, so here I am not writing uh, this if connection equal to uh, not equal to null, connection established, something like that. If you want, we can write. Okay, so now here straight away I am going to deal with the database metadata first. Okay, I have the database metadata interface available and the object of database metadata I can get from connection. From the connection object, I can get the metadata of the database because in the connection object, what we are actually doing, so connection object, we are actually having the URL. That means where is my uh, RDBMS running? What is the username? What is the password? Everything. So from this connection, I am getting the metadata. Okay, what all metadata you can get? So you can see the DBMD is my object. DBMD dot get driver name. So what is the driver name? MySQL connector J we are using, right? So that is a type 4 driver. So the driver name you are going to get dbmd.get connection. So all these connection details we are going to get and get database product name. So what is the database which are we using? MySQL we are using, right? And what is the version? What is the version of the MySQL? It's 8.1 or 8.0. So that we are going to get and dbmd.get username. So is the user actually. So I'm connecting to this particular sample DB with which user? So username is root actually, right? So with user root, root at localhost. Now from the database, when I connect it to this database, and what are all the tables? What are all the tables? 
So this metadata about this Myers scale actually, not about the sample DV. Okay, so this metadata is about the Myers scale. So in Myers scale, what are all the tables are there? All the tables we are going to get. See what I'm doing here. So I have uh, tables equal to string array tables equal to table. Okay, so here, whatever the table keyword is there from the database that you will get it actually into this particular array tables. Now I am using result set rs1 equal to dbmd dot get tables. So from this database metadata object, we have a method called get tables, dbmd dot get tables. And here I am actually making use of this tables. What is this tables is about? This tables is actually uh, something which is matching to this table keyword. Okay, so now when this get tables method is executed, we are going to get a result set. So this result set is going to have all the tables and I'm, my interest is on tables, right? So now this tables is at index three actually, zero, one, two, three. So while rs1.next, as long as there is a table, I am going to print rs1.get string of three. So I will get all the table names actually. Right, so what metadata we are getting here? All the tables we are getting. Uh, driver name, connection, versions, usernames, everything we are getting. Okay, so this is about the database metadata. Okay, so now let's move ahead with the result set metadata. So this result set metadata, you will get from the result set which is obtained. So firstly, we need to get a result set. In order to get the result set, statement st equal to con dot create statement. And now I am using a uh, result set from select star from student. So in my MySQL, I have my student table available. Select star from student, I have 13 rows over here and three columns, SID, SNAME and CGPA. So I'm getting select star from student. Now my results at RS2 will have 13 rows, 13 records information. Along with that, it also will have certain metadata. Okay, along with those 13 records of the student table, Result set will also have certain metadata. So how to get that metadata? This is important actually. Okay, so this is to get metadata. So how? On result set, I am actually using get metadata. See here, I am using get metadata on connection for database metadata. But for result set metadata, I require a result set. On top of result set only, I can actually use get metadata. So then I will get result set metadata object and this RSMD has certain methods actually. So for example, I want to know how many columns are there. Now I can say RMs, RSMD dot get column count. Okay, select star from student, how many columns were retrieved? Those many uh, columns will get retrieved over here. So student table has three. So the answer must be three actually. Okay, and I want to print all these columns. So what I do, I am using while loop, I equal to one, while I less than rsmd dot get column count. So column count is three, I equal to one, I less than or equal to rsmd dot column counts. One, two, three, three times it is going to get executed. What I'm doing, system not out dot print, I'm not saying print ln, rsmd dot get column name. So rsmd dot get column count gives the count. rsmd dot get column name will give me column name of five, column name of one, that is going to be, yeah, so column name of one is going to be SID, then column name of two is going to be S name, column name of three is going to be CGPA. And in fact, if at all you want to get type, RSMD dot get column type name of I, you can get the types also. Count we can get, name we can get type. So here for, the, for this example, I'm taking only column name because I want to print, uh, student data with the column names. So I'm what I'm doing, I'm getting the column names and after that a tab space I'm giving. Okay, so I have the result set metadata. I obtained the column count and I'm printing the column names with a tab space. Later what I do, I have the result set, right? This result set has records also. So now what I'm doing, rs2.next, I am printing get into of one, get string of two, get into of one means SID, get string means as name, and get table is CGPA and I'm using print only, not print LN, so that they will get actually uh, line by line. So I will have the metadata information getting printed and the values also getting printed. Okay, so that's about uh, this database metadata and results of metadata.
let's now actually understand by running this run file when you run file now you can actually see the outcome let's understand the outcome here so first what we are printing is uh, dbm dot get driver name so driver name is mysql connector j connection so connection string is com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc connection with some instance um, connection at this is actually the hash code value right and what is the database product name so which one we are using mysql we are using right what is the version 8.1.0 that is the latest version what is the user user is root so root at localhost then I am getting the tables actually. So all the tables in the MySQL DB I am actually printing. So we have customers table, employee, employees, orders, persons, person one, T1, account, student, sysconfig, city, country, country language. Okay, so everything which is available uh, from the MySQL DB are listed over here. That all the tables are listed over here. So this is about the database metadata thing. Now coming to the result set metadata. So what we are doing is on the result set, we are getting the metadata and immediately I'm asking for RSMD dot get column count. So how many columns? There are three columns actually. Later what I'm doing, I'm printing all the column names. So first column name is SID, S name and CGPA. So from the program itself, I'm printing the column names using result set metadata. And then here I am getting the data. Right, so I have 11 rows and all, sorry, I have 13 rows. All the 13 rows are actually getting printed here. All the 13 rows are getting printed here. Okay, so like this way, the metadata interfaces, both database metadata and result set metadata are important. Okay, hope you have understood this metadata using JDBC. Of course, we have only two important uh, metadata things. Uh, most of the times uh, we will be using result set uh, just to access the column names and the types and later we will actually print the data corresponding data of course database metadata whenever we want we can actually use this so in this way through a java program we can actually uh, connect to our database and get the metadata information of the database as well as the result set okay with this i conclude uh, JDBC with MySQL, Java database connectivity with MySQL. Thank you.